What's the best gift you've ever given someone? I think my presence is the best present. No, I should uh, start buying people gifts. Emma Stone is a successful Hollywood actress whose talent has been proven by many prestigious awards and fan recognition. Stone is amazing, both in comedy and drama movies. Known for her unusual appearance, hoarse voice, and acting talent, Emma Stone definitely attracts plenty of attention. How does the actress who played the memorable Cruella live, and how much does she earn? We'll tell you all about it in this video. Cruella, how Emma Stone lives and how much she earns. Emma Stone, whose real name is Emily Jean Stone, was born on November 6, 1988 in Scottsdale, Arizona, to the family of a construction contractor and a housewife. The actress has a younger brother named Spencer, who became a movie stuntman. The girl owes her unusual appearance to a rich pedigree. In the Stone family, there were Swedes, Germans, as well as Englishmen, Scots, and the Irish. The girl grew up in a prosperous and happy family, but she was not known for her good health. In infancy, she was troubled with abdominal pain, crying from which led to tears of the vocal cords. Although in the future, this hoarse gruff voice played to the actress's strength and became one of her calling cards. Cool, but you guys have like four more years to cuddle, so do you want to get to work? In addition, Emily had to wear braces for seven years and struggle for a long time with the bad habit of sucking her thumb which she got rid of only at the age of 11. As a child during gymnastics, the girl broke her hands at once. Stone also suffered from panic attacks. Therapist sessions and acting activities helped the girl cope with them. In other words, Emily's path to fame was not easy. The girl's school life was spent in three different institutions, Sequoia Elementary School, Kokapa Middle School, and in high school she studied at the Xavier Catholic School for Girls. The future actress successfully participated in school productions from an early age, and her mother took her daughter to a studio at the Valley Youth Theater. There, 11-year-old Emily played in the debut play, The Wind in the Willows. In total, she participated in 16 productions for the Youth Theater, including the shows The Princess and the Pea, Alice in Wonderland, the Little Mermaid, Titanic, and others. The theater took a lot of time from the schoolgirl, so the girl was transferred to homeschooling, which lasted until she turned 15. When the question of further education arose, Emily insisted that acting was more important to her than a standard education. She even tried to convince her parents of this with a presentation called Project Hollywood. Slides would go by each other accompanied by Madonna's song Hollywood. The parents could not resist the persistence of their daughter, and a month later, Emma went down with her mother to the American film capital, Los Angeles. But there was no one waiting for the girl with open arms. Sometimes at auditions, they wouldn't even let her speak. She'd get refused immediately. Emily cried hysterically, but she didn't give up. To support herself in the city, she even had to get a job in a pastry shop and produce special dog food. The persistent girl also knew that an actress with the name Emily Stone was already a well-known name in television so she had to choose a pseudonym for herself. She debated between Riley and Emily G, but in the end decided to just make something off her own, so Emma Stone became the actress's go-to name. The young girl made her film debut in 2005, starring in the TV series The New Partridge Family. This project was not successful and included only one pilot episode. Nevertheless, the actress was noticed and began to be invited to play in other movies. So over the next three years, Emma played small roles in the TV series Malcolm in the Middle, Medium, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Lucky Louie, 30 Rock, and voiced one of the cartoon characters in Robot Chicken. In 2007, Stone played one of the main roles in the drama series Drive, and a minor role in the youth comedy Superbad, which was loved by fans, and the actress herself was awarded a Young Hollywood Award. Look at you. Look at me. Chef, come on, you didn't blow it. I think maybe... What the fuck? Oh, man. In the same year, Emma began an independent life in Los Angeles, no longer living with her parents. The following works the girl starred in required musical training. For example, for the movie The House Bunny, Emma recorded the song I Know What Boys Like, a cover version of the 1982 song by The Waitresses. 
and for the role of Amelia in the comedy The Rocker, she had to learn to play the bass guitar. Devoting all her time to acting, Emma's personal life was also developing on film sets. That's how she started dating Tenny Gager, her co-star in The Rocker. Their relationship lasted only a year. The reasons for their separation remain a secret. After that, she had an affair with Macaulay Culkin's brother, Kieran, whom she met on the set of the drama Paper Man, which Emma considers one of the most important films in her career. Your turn. Okay, would you rather have no friends or no parents? The relationship lasted less than a year, and after parting, the two actors let it die out without giving any details to the public. At this time, the girl starred in the romantic comedy Ghosts of Girlfriends Past, in which Michael Douglas and Matthew McConaughey also appeared, and in the black comedy Zombieland. The latter brought the actress great pleasure since in the film she could freely destroy anything, like breaking a shop window. I hope you find whoever it is you're looking for. And don't let go. Once you do. After the release of these movies, Stone was invited to act in several projects at once, Sucker Punch and Easy A. There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. Mm -hmm. I hope for your sake that God has a sense of humor. Oh, I have 17 years worth of anecdotal proof he does. Choosing the latter, Emma did not go wrong, as she was nominated for the Golden Globe Award for Best Comedy Actress, and the first film failed at the box office. On the set of VZA, a serious incident occurred. The actress had an asthma attack, and they even had to use an oxygen tank on her. Not only did she not suspect that she had the issue, but all this also happened during a candid scene. During this period, the actress also voiced one of the characters in the family comedy, Marmaduke. In 2011, Stone starred in the drama The Help, playing a girl who decides to write a novel about black maids. Oh, no, Pascagoula. You couldn't have known this, but I'm allergic to almonds. Sorry, Miss Eugenia, I'll get you another one. You know, the last time I had an almond, I stopped like a man. Oh, my lord. Oh, no, Rebecca, it's fine. There's a special root tea for that now. It's ironic that this role is something close to her heart, because if she hadn't become an actress, she would have taken up journalism. At one time, Emma even wrote an online newsletter, Neptune for Teenage Girls, where she had a column with tips and wrote articles. Film critics and viewers highly appreciated this movie, including it in a list of highly acclaimed movies in world cinema. And the actress herself received an invitation from Michelle Obama to watch this film at the White House. In the same year, fans saw Stone in comedy dramas such as Crazy Stupid Love with Ryan Gosling and Friends with Benefits with Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake. Who's fucking your bodies in Wonderland? Well, the good news is he has so many good ones. Here's an idea. Next time, instead of being late, just shit on my face. Because that's kind of the same thing as missing your body as Wonderland. The next significant work for the actress was The Amazing Spider-Man, where the main character was played by Andrew Garfield. Should maybe uh, consider coming in through the lobby. <laughs> also, my father is under the impression that you require psychiatric attention. <laughs> It was actually Garfield who insisted that Stone was his partner in the project. Affection broke out between them, and the two lovers from the film became a couple in reality, and one of the sweetest ones in Hollywood. This movie turned out to be successful, and two years later a sequel to the film, The Amazing Spider-Man 2, was released. Did your, um, did your traffic jam have anything to do with the Russian mob and machine guns, by any chance? Why didn't you just tell me? In addition, the actress voiced one of the characters of the cartoon, The Crudes, starred in the comedy Movie 43, which was unsuccessful, and even received three Golden Raspberries as the worst film of the year, and also appeared in the action movie The Gangster Squad. Where have you been all my miserable life? Jerry, the Bible salesman. Drinking? After her relationship continued to evolve, the couple began to live together in New York, and soon their engagement was announced. The actors even planned their wedding for the summer of 2015. While preparing for the wedding, the actress appeared in more movies such as Magic in the Moonlight, Aloha, Irrational Man, and Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance, which won the Oscar for Best Film. The scenes with Stone became the most emotional ones, even if they did not bring her any nominations. 
You were doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people whose only real concern is going to be where they go to have their cake and coffee when it's over. At the Oscar ceremony, Emma appeared without her lover, giving rise to rumors about the annulment of their engagement, which were soon confirmed. The reason for their separation was that the actress did not feel the same way about family life and children as her lover did. A year later, Stone admitted that she still loved Garfield, and he in turn, to the question, who would he take to a deserted island, answered Emma Stone. But unfortunately for fans, the couple did not reunite. Despite the drama in her personal life, Emma's acting flourished. The musical La La Land, which appeared on screens in 2016, became the most successful in her career and landed her the Best Actress nomination, adding to her plethora of awards like Oscar, Golden Globe, and other prizes. Where I get interrupted because someone wants to get a sandwich, or I'm crying and they start laughing, or there's people sitting in the waiting room and they're and they're like me but prettier mm. and better at the because maybe I'm not good enough. For participating in this film, she earned $22.5 million and became the highest paid actress of the year according to Forbes with a total income of $26 million, overtaking Jennifer Aniston and Jennifer Lawrence. The musical itself is a record holder for the number of Golden Globes received, has 14 Oscar nominations, of which it won six. In addition, La La Land became one of the highest grossing films of the year. Next, fans saw the actress in the TV series Maniac, for which she received a payout of $350,000, and later in the films Battle of the Sexes and The Favorite. I thought you were on our side. I'm on my side, always. Sometimes it's a happy coincidence for you, like now you'll get a chance to save the country. The girl also appeared in Paul McCartney's video, Who Cares? There is an interesting story that connects the girl with the artist. Emma's favorite song is a Beatles song, Blackbird, and there is a tattoo with bird's feet on her wrist, which was done to match a sketch made by Paul McCartney. For a long time, there were rumors about Emma Stone's affair with the director and screenwriter of the popular TV show, Saturday Night Live, Dave McCary which were confirmed in 2019. Journalists suggested that the relationship began when the girl appeared on the show at the end of 2016. During this period, more sequels were released for already well-known films, the cartoon The Croods, A New Age, and one of the main roles in the film Zombieland, Double Tap. You guys are in love, or whatever, but in two minutes she's gonna become a, a zombie, not a velociraptor. And it's the right thing to do if you love something. In 2020, Stone and McCary secretly got married, and soon it became known about the actress's pregnancy. The celebrity became a mom on March 13, 2021, and the girl Jean Louise was named after Emma's grandmother. The next film the actress appeared in was Cruella in 2021. Mm. Mark Jasper, we're in a kill or be killed situation here. Yeah, and she's a homicidal maniac, and you're not. <laughs> We don't know that yet, I'm still young. A prequel story of the villainous from 101 Dalmatians. However, the shooting had to be delayed due to the fact that the actress went to a concert of her favorite band, Spice Girls in London in June 2019, and got a shoulder injury there. According to the girl herself, she slipped, fell, and broke her shoulder in two places. Today, preparations are underway for the filming of the movie Poor Things, the comedy series The Curse, and the second part of Cruella. Thanks to her acting, the girl makes a good living and lives in luxury. Emma Stone's fortune is estimated at $30 million. On average, she earns from $20 to $30 million a year. It is known that the actress has obtained from Disney at least $10 million in compensation for acting in the movie Cruella. In addition, according to the contract, Stone will receive a similar payout for Cruella too, even if the project does not get released for some reason. The fact is that the studio is famous for its violations of contracts, releasing movies simultaneously in cinemas and online, depriving stars of the opportunity to earn more. Earlier, Scarlett Johansson was faced with such an issue, but her claims were not satisfied and she was even blacklisted. For example, the Louis Vuitton fashion house considers Emma Stone its muse and brand ambassador. She often presents new collections and fragrances from the famous house. The actress also starred in advertisements for many products produced by the cosmetics company Revlon. In addition, the girl posed for the famous fashion W magazine. A significant part of her money is spent on purchasing property. 
In 2012, Emma bought a mansion with an area of 3,800 square feet in the Beverly Hills area of Los Angeles, worth $2.5 million. The house, decorated in bright colors, has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a huge dining room. And in the courtyard, there is a small terrace next to an outdoor swimming pool. In 2019, she sold it for $3.9 million. After this deal, Stone decided to purchase two luxury villas at once. The first in the elite Westwood neighborhood in Los Angeles, worth $2.3 million. This two-story house with an area of 2,300 square feet is decorated in the Spanish style of the 1920s. Inside, there are two bedrooms, a kitchen, a living room, and a dining room. The windows of the house overlook a beautiful yard with a swimming pool, a guest house, and a courtyard. The second villa in Malibu cost Stone $3.25 million. The property occupies 3.2 acres and is located on a small cliff at the top of a hill, completely surrounded by greenery and flowers. The living area is 1,800 square feet and almost every room has a beautiful view of the Pacific coast. The interior is decorated in a minimalist style, high ceilings, large windows, white walls, and a kitchen with white and gold details. It is known that the actress sold the townhouse in New York for $18.75 million, where she lived with Andrew Garfield, although at the time they purchased it for $22.5 million. The actress also owns an apartment in the West Village area of New York worth $2.4 million, and an apartment in New York City for $3.6 million. In addition to luxury homes, Emma owns several cars, including a Tesla Model S, Audi Q5, Mini Cooper S, and Audi S6. The 32-year-old actress has achieved success not only because of her talent, but also because of her determination. Having received an Oscar, the girl received the heights of fame, a place many seasoned artists have been striving to reach for years. The actress leaves a secret of life and does not like to give interviews. She can't be found on Instagram, and she deleted her Facebook page due to her addiction to the game Happy Farmer. The girl could not live a day if she did not feed the pigs in the virtual world. Do you think Emma Stone will continue to improve and win another Oscar? Like the video, leave a like, and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss anything interesting.